Hello. Hey, good evening. Guess what I found? A burrito? Well, that too. It was delicious, uh, and it's now in my belly, but I've discovered more Parthians. Yes. Can you believe more it? More Parthians. More Parthians. Good God. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what they're up to tonight? Well, you've heard the saying that those who don't learn from history are doomed to repeat it. I have heard this, yes. I say that those who do learn from history will find new ways to screw things up. Let's talk about Anthony's ambitions in Parthia. Now, when last we left Parthia, Crassus had tried to invade and marched right through the desert, exhausting his troops and letting them get picked off by the Parthian cavalry. So you're saying it was not successful? It was not. Anthony has decided to learn from this mistake. He's decided that marching through the open plains of Mesopotamia is a bad idea. So, he intends to march through the Roman ally of Armenia, which is to the north of Parthia, reasoning that the mountains and hills of Armenia will be much more difficult for the Parthian cavalry to navigate and favor his heavy infantry. So before Anthony decides to launch this campaign in Parthia, he wants to make sure he shored up his alliances in the region. So he goes south to Egypt to pay a visit to Cleopatra. He makes a deal with Cleopatra for some more territories along the Roman coast. And he might have made something else while he was there too, as Cleopatra becomes pregnant again. Freshly supplied by Cleopatra, he marches about 18 of his legions into Armenia. Like he said, as planned, he marches north, cutting through the mountain. And this first phase seems to be quite a success. He meets little resistance, and the resistance he does meet in the Mesopotamian lowlands, he completely catches off guard and overwhelms them. As he advances through the mountains, however, he knows that time is of the essence because he wants to lay siege in Parthia before winter sets in. So for the sake of speed, he moves ahead of his baggage train. How'd that go? Not well. And we'll get to that. Eventually, Anthony emerges into the Parthian territory where he lays siege to the city of Prata. As he was selling into a siege, these Roman supplies from this long, drawn-out baggage train were slowly trickling in, snaking their way through the mountains. This is when the Parthians decided to attack. But they didn't attack Anthony at the siege. They attacked his baggage train still in the mountains. A small military force under the command of the Armenian king was shepherding these baggage trains through the mountains, and they were almost immediately overwhelmed and wiped out. And the majority of Roman supplies were taken or destroyed. And of course, by Roman supplies, I mean Cleopatra's supplies. So this really is a major setback for Anthony's siege. But he soldiers on, reasoning that he, if he wins a siege, his supply problems would be solved because then he could just resupply in the city because sack it. Unfortunately for him, the city was much better defended than he had anticipated. And then the Parthians start attacking his flanks with hit and run attacks. So the Romans had a very hard time building, defending, and maintaining any siege equipment. Anthony tries to keep up this fight for as long as he can, but finally he decides enough's enough, he has to cut his losses, and he makes the decision to retreat. He retreats back through the Armenian territories, but by this time, winter is setting in. And along the way, he is continuously dogged by these Parthian forces, slowing him down. Snowstorms slow their progress. Food rations are cut to a bare minimum. They're not supplied for winter. So these are Roman soldiers in full armor with Roman sandals trudging through snow. By the time he limps back to Syria, he probably lost 25 to 50% of his army due to starvation and cold. And his soldiers no longer resemble soldiers having left their armor behind in the mountains dressed only in rags. Now, as soon as he's able, Anthony sends a letter to Cleopatra requesting more money and supplies, and this time winter clothing. Although I don't understand why he'd get winter clothing from Egypt. That doesn't strike me as the source of 
heavy clothing. Closed toed sandals, I think. Yes. Anthony also wrote to Octavian and the Roman Senate, and he characterized this attack as a Roman victory. <laughs> Ever the spin master, Anthony is. Now, he ends by asking Octavian to send some legions that Octavian had promised him over a year ago before he even launched this campaign. But Octavian's like, you know, I'm sorry, there have been some problems back here at home, We're having problems recruiting, so things really aren't turning up too good for Anthony here. I believe the colloquial term is twisting in the wind. Yes, yes. So, the fight having, you know, claim victory... In Parthia, he also spends the next year going around blaming the Armenians for his defeat. And in 34 BC, he uses that as a pretext for the invasion of Armenia, which doesn't stand its chance against the Roman legions. He captures the Armenian king, and this is kind of a blunder because Armenia <laughs> is a Roman ally, and the Armenian king is a staunch ally of Rome. However, his son doesn't really care too much for these Romans, and he's leaning closer to Partha. So, as a result of that, Anthony not only takes out an ally, but pushes that ally closer to the hands of his enemies. But in the end, at least it made Anthony feel better about his loss and his blunder. Now, most sources for this blunder point to Outside interference, the incompetence of the Armenian defense forces, maybe they were spies. No one ever really wants to say that Anthony probably screwed up and shouldn't have left his baggage trains behind. That is the background to tonight's battle, where we will be fighting the very one-sided battle of these Parthians taking out Anthony's baggage train. Why don't you tell us how we're going to go about doing that, Certainly. and if this Heavy cataphrate cavalry will finally live up to its name. <laughs> maybe, maybe. I'm guessing, though, that if he had it to do all over again, Anthony probably would have praised Caesar instead of just burying him. I don't know, but uh, it sounds like he did make a few errors along the way. Uh, yes, this is the battle of, well, we're calling this Anthony's Siege Train in 36 BC. Uh, I will start with the Parthians. For the first game, I will have five command cards. I will get to move first. Peter will take the Romans under Oppius Stantanius, and he will also have five command cards. But as he pointed out, this is uh, another one of those wonderful scenarios where it's all horses on one side. We are playing to six banners tonight. The baggage wagon rule is in effect, which means that these four baggage units right here... Uh, what they're trying to do is survive, that's the priority, but also if they can get off of the map here on the Roman right side, then every one of those that do, that is a permanent victory banner for the Romans. For uh, The baggage rules are that uh, we've, we've played this once before, but uh, an opposing unit can, they're the only ones that can uh, enter into a hex with a baggage unit. Baggage units can never enter into another one, so anybody can come onto a baggage unit, but they cannot enter into another space with another block. If an enemy occupies a baggage space and there are no uh, enemy units adjacent to it, then that is when the baggage wagon is destroyed. But if there are units friendly to the baggage wagon, then it is not destroyed. Um, otherwise, they move at a speed of two, and they can be affected by a mounted charge and get that extra movement point of uh, plus one. And we have Julian legions for the Romans, which means that they can still uh, throw their short spears, or they can move two spaces and not battle. And that is all we have to it tonight. It will be... Well, one more thing about the baggage trains. Oh, they yeah. also block line of sight. They do block line of sight because they're, you know, the dust that they kick up. Like I said, I will get to go fir first. So I'm going to drag my cards out first. And I'm going to get my five. So one, two, three, four, and five. So tonight, I don't really think this is so much a game of which side is going to win. It's how well can the Roman player weather the loss. 
true. True. And I am curious if we can actually get, with three heavy cav cataf cataphract cavalry, with leaders, if they can actually do something. Uh, so let's try that first. Let's do inspired center leadership here. Oh, my. And uh, we're going to activate all three of them, uh, plus one more. So we'll do this one, too. One, two, and one, two, and one, two, and one. There we go. Actually, let's do that backwards. Let's have him come there and him come there. All right. Better field of fire. All right, that is what I'm going to do. Uh, the light bow cavalry does get one shot, and just for grins, they'll take it at the heavy war machine. Let's see if we can get a square! One red square! Yeah, that would be too easy. Over to you. Okay. Outflanked. Those four units. Throw a spear, see if they can't get a red square. Hmm, deja vu there. And on the other side. Let's do inspired left leadership. Activate all of these units. Light slingers there. What would they like to do? They will evade. They will evade. Okay, so we're going to do four dice looking for green circles only. And we get one. All right. Now we have some range combat. We'll throw a spear at that medium cav. One die. Nothing down the line here. Nothing. And one more. Yay! We get a hit. And that is all. Two on the right. Three dice against that light cap. Take him out. Against those light bow. Uh, they'll evade. All right. Do three on the left. at them forcing a retreat um, we'll do two dice at those mediums forcing a retreat and the 
heavy cavalry cannot do anything because he can't attack it outside. Ah, nice. He escapes. It was less like Command and Colors and more like an episode of Battlestar Galactica. <laughs> yeah. That is correct. Do inspired right leadership. Here with the auxilia. Get four dice plus leader. Four or five? Uh, four. Heavy cavalry. Okay. Just, just four. So one hit, two retreats. We'll advance. Move on. Battle again. Same thing. Four dice. Two hits. Can never finish them anymore. Three dice back. A retreat, but you would ignore. Mm, I shall ignore. All right. Um, we'll do two dice from here to the mediums. Uh, nothing, unless you want to take the retreat. From here, nothing. Uh, two to that auxilia, nothing. And then one to the auxilia, nothing. All right. Light troops. Five light troops, I could order them all. Now you got it stuck in my head. Sorry. <laughs> go, Colonial One, go! Okay. Let's risk some biscuits. Okay. One stone at that heavy cavalry. Boink. One stone there. Boink. Spear. Oh! Really? Freeties, you're supposed to duck. Oh, I hope you didn't jinx yourself because here comes that leader roll. <laughs> duck, he did. Yes, he did. All right. And then, being silly and foolish, three dice with leader support. What would that heavy cavalry like to do? They'll stand. Ooh, hits. And leader check. He's good. Okay, four back with leader. <sighs> Punish. Oh, well. Rip a shot. Well, I'm going to use him while I can. Get 
on horse. Alright. Start down here. See if we can't finish these guys. Four dice plus leader. We do. So they will advance and then move one onto that spot. Spot. But here we'll go against your auxilia. Four dice plus leader. Hit retreat. And advance and attack your war machine now, I think. What would it like to do? Okay, four dice. Uh, nothing. Alright. And then finally, against your lights here. They like to stand or fall back. Ooh, very nice. Four dice plus leader. Damn it. We'll advance. Oh, and I can't. Oh, yeah, I can move one. Right, of course. And then uh, we'll go after these mediums. This is a little greedy, but we're going to try. So four dice. Just a hit and a retreat. Is all. Now that retreat screws me up. Do three in the center. Okay, do that. Uh, he'll go to that one. So, we'll do that there, see if we can get four dice plus leader, and get a hit and a retreat. It's these retreats that are killing me. We can't hit back. And then we'll come forward and attack again, another four, and get him that time. And then these guys will just throw here, two dice. One, two, three. Two, three. Two, three. Thanatus will charge three ATs and attack with four dice. Four dice. Support. That'll do it. Leader. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. oh man, this game. Suddenly, things have taken a turn. Oh no, I'm done. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm done. <laughs> sorry. You're already you're already planning the next move. I know. <laughs> I'm trying. Like I, oh my god, I can win. I might be able to win this. Yep. Not really. I mean, I'm gonna hammer this poor me. This is this is cruddy. <sighs> okay. I have to I have to blow a line command guard because I have no foot units. I have to activate this. Oops. Activate him. And go to there. And attack. I need a lot of help here. Four dice plus leader. Or a retreat, that would be helpful. Uh, two and a retreat. And let's see if yeah. we can run him down. Four dice was later. Had it. Had it. Oh. Had it. Just barely. Well, the retreat also helped, but 
Oh, man. This one is deceptive. I had it. <laughs> oh, you did! Oh, that would have been awesome. Yep, just uh, the one more. One more. You, when you pulled that mounted charge out, which you always do, and you were all you were setting it up. Wow, this one is pretty fun. This one uh, that could have gone either way when you popped Freddy's. Oh. Yeah, that was that. that that's and like I said, I thought it was like, well, how bad can I not lose? But then, then when I popped those two, like I could win. <laughs> yes, you can. Yes, you can. Oh. Never crit. But, Never give up. Never surrender. Uh, cool. All right. Cool. Well, uh, yeah, let's uh, take five minutes and we will reset for game two. We are back with round number two. This one is so um, tight, man. That first, uh, now unedited, it was 33 minutes. That's, I think, five or six minutes of your explanation and then a good solid 20 minutes of play. That's That's pretty awesome, you know. Nail, nail biting play. It was. Man, it could have gone either way. But now it's your chance to utilize those heavy cataphract cavalry. And that handful of line command cards that you have. Oh, man. Yeah, I, I, I stopped the recording before I told everyone. Well, they saw it. But, uh, yeah, I told Peter that I had three line command cards. Uh, uh, moved some two in the center or three in the center. And uh, heavy... Uh, what was the other one? Oh, medium units. Totally useless, right? So... May you not be burdened with such troubles and sorrows. And good luck. Let's see. Thank you. Hmm. Well, I think I'm just going to get stuck right in. <laughs> of course. All right. So, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. I would have killed for that card. Man. All right. What would your slingers like to do? Uh, well, clearly they have to take just sit and take it because they're up against the wall. All right, here we go. Uh, five dice. Oh, three hits. Three hits. All right. Get hit, hit. Let's see if they can fight back these little scrappy slingers. Hurrah! They get a hit. Let's see if they can unhorse that unnamed Parthian. Nah. What would you like to do with your... If I evade... Evade, you it, remove it from the board. And it's no, no one banner. Scores. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. It's then, no banner. Yeah, we'll, we'll do the evasion. All right, so I need some red squares. Ooh, <sighs> just one. Just one. Okay, so he comes off board... Officially a one. Okay. And More important, we keep you from that follow-up attack. And against those auxilia, five dice. Mm. Just Hello barely. Three. Yeah. Okay, here's three back. Two retreats. Let's see if you have to take them both. Two dice. Nope. They retreat two, right? Yes. Uh, retreat two hexes, yes. Unless you were an elephant, which you were not. All right. These guys will fire a bow at that auxilia. Duh. Same here. Two dice. Perfect setup. Oh, you scripted this, man. You got two wax in, so I'm not going to... Mm. All right. Yes, that was about as good as you could hope for. Well, no. You could hope for wiping out whole blocks and going attacking another block. But, mm -hmm. Oh, well. Wow. Wow. Medium, do medium troops. Well, that's a lot more helpful now, isn't it? Mm-hmm. And go. Two, three. I suppose I should do that. 
No way he can throw a spear. Um, that must it. He'll go there. All right. So we'll throw a spear to you. One die. Nothing. The medium cavalry will attack your heavy. So I can evade that, no, right? you are too heavy. And I am too nimble. So three, yes, I can only evade against foot or elephants. Yes, so three dice coming at you. Oh, if only I had leadership on this side. All right. Four dice coming back. Yikes. I have leadership. Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. Yes, you do. You've got leadership. How <laughs> about you? All right, four dice. What would they like to do? Oh, they're going to evade. Surely. All right, come on. I just need one red square, baby. One red square. Oh, man. This game vexes me. Hmm. Hmm. I already know what somebody's going to post in the after action, so yes, you are correct, and I am stupid. We'll just leave it at that until afterwards. Let's do this. Okay. Attacking those light slingers. What will they be doing? They will be ev evading. Okay. Four dice. Well evaded. Attacking that medium cavalry. Uh, Four it, dice. Um, we'll do that. <gasps> yep. is, so that is that what you should have done the last time? Nope. Nope. Uh, three dice plus leader bonus first. Okay, four dice coming back. Mm, that'll kill. Wow. Man, all of my good work these last few weeks getting blocks back. Leader die. He's good. Would you like to continue your winning ways there? Ooh. That's 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 a tall order to try and take out that auxilia in one shot. Ooh. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm going to do counterattack, which is four in the center, mm. and uh, I'm pretty sure I had that when you did your mounted charge. And did I use it? No, I did not. Because I'm an idiot. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, that was pretty... Uh, I'm going to have to... You know, I'll definitely see that in post, but I'm pretty sure I had that right from the beginning. So these two are going to go one, two... These two... One, two... Ugh. This one's definitely trickier than I thought. Well, I'm going to do this. Okay. Let's do two in the center. And that will do it. Uh, one, two. Okay. This foolish attack. Okay. So here we go with four dice on those mediums. Two hits. All the colors of the rainbow. <laughs> Can we taste oh, wait. Pink? That was bad. 
Why? Because I get a retreat? Are you? I get a fight back? Yes. Four dice back. That's why. Two hits and a retreat you must take. And let's see if we kill a leader. No, we do not. He makes it. Okay, should have gone off my original plan. Well, at least you didn't blank me. I appreciate that, man. Getting these last two blocks is not going to be easy. Moving the heavy war machine hurts. Okay. All right, let's do... All right, we'll do four on the right. Instead of this one, we do our trusty slingers. All right, so these guys will go one, two to there. He'll go one, two to there. Uh, he will throw two rocks at your heavy cataphracts. Loose! Nothing. Oh. Ouch. Another bow. Close combat. Two dice. Loop leader. Oh no. Four dice back. Two hits. There's the leader check. Halfway. Two dice. Ah, damn. Yes. I can move it. All right, so one, two to there. Um, they will attack, they will attack. So, attack your heavy cataphract there. What would they like to do? I have to evade. Okay, four dice. Look good for one red try or one red square. Ah, damn. Great evade. Okay. Got two chances here to get a red square. No. All right. Uh, I'll take the retreat. All right, then. The only thing I can play that's going to might net me anything. Five dice. Okay. So I will rally these light bow. Those weird dice. I'll rally that heavy calf. Now for some orders. There. Okay, let's see if I can't pull a Patrick. Two dice from the light bow cav. No flax. And over here. Attacking with four dice. Hit. And two retreats. So I will 
advance plus one, right? Is it advance plus one? Yes, it is. Going after the auxiliary this time with four dice. Here we go. Two flags. And a hit. So hit, one flag, two flags. The wheels have come off the wagon. Well, I don't see a way out of it, so I think I just have to... You can't move that wagon? Um, no. No, I can't, so... I have three options here. One is a possibility. I can either cast my lot to the gods and make an attempt at something spectacular, or... I can go with a sure thing and try to close the gap by two. What would you do in that situation? Something spectacular. Yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. Foolish yeah. like that. Yeah. So you should you should take the sure thing. Take the sure thing. Okay. So then I will take or the sure the thing. thing. Yes. I will. Uh, I will activate two on the right. And uh, sadly, if it, if I had a three right, that would have been really good, but. Uh, it will be those two, and they will both exit to bring the gap closer. Uh, but I have no way of moving this wagon in the middle. So uh, so you're going to take that one and end the game. All right. Well, that one, um, that's... if. So here's, here's my final hand, uh, so you can see it. Uh, Spartacus, you... Counterattack. I uh, got a second counterattack. A double time, which did me no. Eh, could have possibly done some good, but again, uh, and I just drew the three units on the right. Mm. Um, and uh, yeah, if I if I had that just a second ago, I could have gotten three wagons off and been a little closer. But uh, mm. it was not to be. Good game. I, I had a handful of drek at that. Point. That's why I played the rally. I had this. Which, sure, I could have done something with these guys, but those guys were over there were pretty much at full strength. Right. Useless. Useless. Eh. Maybe, yeah. But My guys were too useless. far away to really be effective. Right, right. So if I if they were, had come down closer, then maybe. So, the and I just drew out flanked. Oh, yeah, so. yeah. Now that was good. Um, if if just a couple little things. You know, so one, if I had not made the bonehead of not copying your mounted charge, I'm pretty sure that I had that right from the beginning. I had that, and I had the uh, first strike. So if I had used the counterattack against that, then I could have moved all four of those wagons three three spaces. That would have been smart, but I was not paying attention, and that was foolish. Uh, there were a couple times, though, when I thought I could have attacked you back, but I was I failed to kill the, cat, the, the two cataphracts when they were down to one block. They both managed to get away, so those were... I never rolled any flags yeah, like you do. Yeah. The old flag master over here. <laughs> Got a yellow flag on the field. So yeah, this one uh, this one is a lot of fun. Definitely, I could see this uh, for a thirty minute battle. It it packs a lot of, of tension in thirty minutes, with one side being all horses, of course, all cavalry. Uh, so I like it. Thumbs up. Good 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 one. It's kitschy, you know. It's a quirky little one, but I like escape, as you say, breakout or escape ones. Those are kind of neat uh, from a logistic standpoint. It makes total sense that. You know, there were a couple times when I was like, I could really smack him back, but I got to move these wagons because you were starting to crowd them, and that—that's the secret of it. You just get that, that was the thing I was trying to get that that light bow cavalry in a line there, try and hem that last wagon in yeah. if I could. Yeah, and that's what my goal was initially was to build a wall over there, but then that would have guided you down to to this very last corner down here. It was that's not only to one be back in the time. Yep, yeah, yeah, it was not to be. Fun game. Yes, sir. Fun game. Uh, any other final thoughts for this one before we close the books? I believe this is the... I, 
I think I've said all I need to say here. Okay, well, I think this is finally the end of all the Parthian stuff, I think. Yes, I think we're going back to Britain after this. Ah, yes, okay, back to Britain. Well, we'll pack our bags and we will plan for that one, and we will leave you here, folks. But come on back next week. We hope you've enjoyed this fine horse opera again tonight with the Parthians. And if you could take a moment there as we're indicating, please click that like and subscribe if you are new to the channel. Click the notification bell if you want to see these things. As a, as I said in the last one, I'm starting to get these pre on a pretty good schedule now. If I can get them edited and out on Saturday mornings at 9 a.m. to have with your coffee and cartoons. Uh, and I'm showing you our current supporters. We got a couple more this week, so thank you very much for your support. We really appreciate the monetary contributions, but it is not expected. Uh, but we are grateful for your support, no matter how you do it, whether it's with comments down in the feedback section there, or just telling us what uh, what you thought of the scenario. It is all good. Peter, thank you for a fun set of games tonight, and uh, I will do the research, of course, for next week as we move back to Britain. We're all Britons. All right. All Thanks right. so much. Sure. See you next week. Good night. Good night.